Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks and welcome back to the return of the Over Din. We have some solving to do. Something's happened on this ship and I don't know what. Well, we do know what. We know one or two things, but nowhere near enough to put the whole piece of the puzzles together. There's a few things I need to discuss before we go into this. Number one, sorry if this gets a bit crunchy at places. YouTube apparently does not like compressing images that are made up of loads and loads and loads and loads of little dots. So if my face ever goes really crunchy, it's not my fault, promise, I've tried to fix it. Number two. I said something really stupid in the last episode. I said something about when we saw, like, the Kraken um, attacking the ship. I was like, oh my god, I didn't know this was going to be a supernatural game. I've got a magic pocket watch that lets me see, you know, into the past and whatnot. So I don't know what I was going on about. It just, for some reason, the Magic Pocket Watch seems grounded. The Kraken seems more fantastical. Don't know why that's the case to me. I have also only just realised that we are, in fact, bobbing in the sea. You can see the horizon is actually moving. We are actually moving. Which is really cool. Still no sign of Falmouth, which makes me really sad. Speaking of pocket watches, do you know how the pocket watch was actually invented? Really cool story. So... This is my maritime bit before we get into the rest of the game. And then I've got a few things to kind of catch up on. So, navigating used to be really, really difficult. Um, we, we could tell... Which one was it? Longitude or latitude? I always get them mixed up. We could tell one of them because you could tell where you are based on like how high the sun is. But then the other one you couldn't tell because you needed to know the exact time of wherever it is you are or were or whatever. So you can tell how far off the, the sun is to where you should be. So, you know, if it's midday and the sun isn't in the middle of the air, you know, in the middle of the sky, it's not midday wherever you are, you know, so you need to, or you are, it is midday, but you're somewhere else. I don't know. It's weird. They needed to keep track of time is where I'm going with this. Um, and clocks used to have pendulums. Pendulums, if they were to have any kind of arch nemesis, would, of course, be a boat or a ship. Um, so they had to develop a new one and a guy called John I think John Harrison or something made the pocket watch the pocket watch was invented by I want to say an Englishman might be a Scotsman so I'm really sorry if it was um I'm not sorry that you're Scottish I'm sorry that I presumed it was English um invented the pocket watch so that you could travel the seas and you could tell where and when you are which is really cool anyway I need to revisit her. I've forgotten her name. It begins with an A. I need to revisit her. Because she's shouting for Martin. And I need to know if the guy she's talking to is Martin or if she's shouting to a Martin. Yeah, so that must be Martin. Okay, never mind. I sorted it out. This is Martin. So which one are you? You are the right hand man. Does that make you... right? So this guy, open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. That's handy. Thank you, game. Can I get into the sketch now, please? Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Thank you. So, this gentleman is Martin. Martin is the third mate. Okay, Martin is the third mate. That is her brother, I think, for now, anyway. So, to me, what was her name? Abigail or Oscott Witterall, so that should be William. I'm going to presume that's William. I'm going to go out on a whim. Preface correct. Captain Robert Witterall shot himself. Abigail Oscott Witterall was crushed by falling rigging. William Oscott was shot with a gun by Captain Robert Witterall. 
Oh no, do I have to... That, is that gonna... I've got three out of 60. We, we're doing good. We're doing good. Anyway, that's fine. I'll leave you guys to it. Enjoy the Kraken. I have other things to look at. I have made a bit of a kind of discovery in my brain. So I was looking um, at the map last episode, wasn't I? Let's go have a look at the map. So a lot of the early stages of the story appear to happen in the cargo deck. The cargo deck's at the bottom of the ship. It's right in the belly of the ship, which means we have to go through all these other areas first. And because I am quite an inquisitive person, and I will just be, you know, following every little lead that I come across, it's going to take me a while before we get to the belly of the ship. That means, naturally, we're going to discover this story back to front. Um... Which is quite cool. Now, I do need to see what happened to this gentleman. I knew it was going to be bad. I didn't think it was going to be that graphic. Oh. Boy. Well, at least I know what happened to you now. Oops, that's the wrong button. You. Don't know who you are. Oh, I need to do the discovery afterwards. So we've got them. We've got Martin. He's taking the shot. I don't know where Martin is aiming. My thoughts exactly good, sir. My god. That is possibly one of our Formosan colleagues. No, 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 no. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. The Doom. So, I don't know who this person is, but they were torn apart by a beast. There you go. Poor guy. Oh, I'm shaking again. I'm shaking again. What was the button? I can't remember what the button was. It told me to press a button last time. To activate a thing. Oh no! Ah! What have we done? Oh, another body. Okay, so we discovered another body. You hijinked me. Oh no, you double hijinked me. Don't make it a triple, please. I was going to say, there, there they are. Cool. And another unfortunate soul. Let's go back and rewatch this guy getting ripped apart by a beastie. That. Mm. I'm skipping that because those sound effects made me... Oh no, the sound effects are still playing. Hmm. Very good. So we've got them. We've got our Famosan colleague. Got this great hat. That is a fantastic hat. Yeah, that one. So... I can't tell who's thrown that. I think you've thrown that. And you're catching that. 
that's brave throwing any kind of like lock weapon like flint lock whatever lock this one is if that jumps too much that thing's going off in his hands who are you i can't actually recognize your face from here unfortunately because you're looking down and i can't appear to squat why do they look like arthur from red dead maybe or another character from red dead just generic man with beard but we have actually injured the beastie it can be killed. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, that's just three gone. They're dead. They can just be presumed dead. I don't even know who they are. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got a fancy hat. Okay, I just need to have another look around and see if there's any other parts of the ship we can access from here. If there's any other things I've missed. Aha! Like you. Climbing the rigging. You are very brave climbing the rigging when there's this thing. Haven't you seen Pirates of the Caribbean? Dead Man's Chest? That film gave me nightmares as a kid. Okay. I think I've seen everything we need to see here, for now. I think. Oh! We've got a goat! I assume that's a goat. Or a sheep. Oh, it's like a goat. Like a very, very big goat. That is a very big goat. Unless maybe I'm just used to seeing pygmy goats, which are incredibly small. Right, let's get out of this. Sea monsters make me uncomfortable. Doesn't help my deep-seated thalassophobia. So I don't think there was anyone else dead in there, and I have no way of identifying that person yet. I'm guessing they did not hold on. Oh, that's... Oh. 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 Oh, that is... Genius, but also... So they're tethered, right? That's actually really cool. So they've got a rope across the top and he's tethered on. And then he's tethered to him. Oh no, that means you're next. That means you're next. Maybe. Oh no, you survived. I think we saw you because you kind of hide around the capstan. Jeez Christ. They made a grenade. So how did they die? I'm, I'm going to call that. You, you exploded. Exploded. Easy. Don't know who you are. <laughs> and I don't know how to know who you are just yet. Who else is here? So, uh, here's... Oh, dude, you're gonna wish you stayed down below deck. Because those two tentacles are coming to grab you. They're falling back down again because the ship is listing every which way okay I just, I just want to really see if there's any oh no oh no it's going to be that one there's something haunting about seeing this like, I'm watching this guy die and there's nothing I can do about it 
and not only die, die in a truly horrific kind of fashion. Oh, I don't like this. This is filling me with hopes for when I go to see. At least we found the stairs, though. That is the bonus, right? We've kind of worked our way across. I am just going to check these other doors on the main deck before we go below. So that one's locked because that is Abigail's room. And is there anything of note in here? Would appear not. Which is fine. Time to go down to, I want to say the gun deck. The gun deck? Is it the gun deck next? I suppose I could just go and look if there were guns. Yes, it's a gun deck. Down we go, I guess. Yay. Oh, they've even got, like, sounding pipes. So these is I'm presuming that's what that is, for shouting down so people can hear you below deck. Well, everyone's looking healthy. How many guns does this thing have? So it's a uh, one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, twelve. Sixteen. No way this is a sixteen gunner. They're, they've got to be for storage. They've got to be extras, right? They're not actually gun, like, windows. So it's a 12 gunner. Cool. I'm not really up to date with my, like, historic ship classes, so I don't know what this would class as. I mean, it's got one, two, it's got three masts. Don't know. I'm going to say it's some kind of brig. Maybe a brigantine. I don't really know, though. I'm not an expert. Oh, look at all. At least most of the crockery stayed in place. Or was put back in place. None of this would have been pots at this time period. Most of these would be wooden. In fact, a lot of places and a lot of ships would have, like, square um, kind of crockery. Um, so you'd have square plates. Which is one of the reasons why people think square meals, like, you know, if you have, like, three square meals a day, um, is because it comes from, like when the plates used to be square in the navy it's probably because you would have the ship's biscuit which um is like dehydrated bread but again they're in squares so it's one of the two but i don't think we'll ever know for sure i mean most of the guns are still in a decent position they were crushed by that one that is Arguably not an ideal position for a gun. Because these things weigh loads. Oh, that's not even a quick way to go. Oh. I am sorry. That's like crushing like his sternum. Is that the sternum? I don't know. I'm not a biology major. And even like his windpipe a little. Bleh. Oh. I've got like a, a weird thing. Like, so I can do gore. I can do like a war gore and injuries. Anything to do with the windpipe or eyes, I can't deal with, right? Like, I think it's because I did a dissection once in biology and we dissected like a, a pair of lungs and doing anything to do with a trachea. It's like trying to punch through like a plastic tube. Imagine putting a knife through a plastic tube, but it's also fleshy. That's what it feels like. And ever since I am, Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. They were crushed. They were crushed by a cannon. You poor soul, because you would have felt every moment of that. Jesus, 
wet. Okay, so let's have a look what's going on over here, shall we, lads? I don't know if this is during the beast attack. Got on which one of you gentlemen blew up. Was it you? Or was it you? Ah, it was you. You're the one who blew up. They do have powder. They've got powder. Or is that powder? Or is that just rations? I don't know. It looks a bit like the powder bags that one of them had. Or not the pots and pans. Ooh. I can get in here temporarily at least. Don't think there's going to be huge amounts up front. Is that Martin again? Hello Martin, I'm starting to recognise you. I'm actually doing quite good with faces. I'm doing better with faces than I was expecting to. Oh. The fact that you are armed. Ah uh, yeah. Ah uh, yeah. Not another one. Not another one. What happened to you? Where's your body now? Oh, it's again, it's still be in the same place. Cool. Before I do that again, I'm going to just go have one more look at our substantially thinner friend and see if I can see anything else down here. Because it is a nice big deck to have a look around. Jesus. Don't stand behind a cannon. That's my that's my new thing. That's my new motto. Don't stand behind a cannon. I don't actually think there is anyone else down here. Right, let's go have a look at the one who's missing a head. Jesus wept. Uh, there's another body under there. Oh my god. Not the top hat, man. So, yeah, these guys set it off. I mean, at least that bit would have been relatively painless. Unlike him getting his head bashed in by the captain later. God, how long was the doom kind of going on for? It feels like... That would have been a nightmare. Especially if there's a bunch of other stuff happened on this voyage, you know? It feels like... Who is this and how did they die? How is this and how did they die? They were decapitated, technically. Oh, no, does that count as decapitated? They were shot, maybe? By a cannon. I don't know which one of them did this. I don't even know if it was them or if it was the Kraken that did it. So you're part of the gun crew. When I mean, you've got the fuse, but I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I 
I don't know if I'm ever going to find out half of these people's names. Oh boy, I'm going to have to watch another person get crushed to death. This is really morbid. <laughs> This is depressing as hell. I I genuinely hate the Kraken. Like it may I know, I know it's not maybe not real. But this thing scares the bejesus out of me. Like, ever since I watched Pirates of the Caribbean as a kid, I was just haunted. Wait, so they said Belay Spark. Does that mean that maybe the fuse was lit? So they were crushed. By, I don't know, I would argue that it's the beast is crushing them. But then again, it could be the cannon. But to me, that's the, the beast is crushing them against the cannon and the hull. You know, it's not the cannon that is crushing them. So was it already lit? I'm guessing that thing's already lit. And then that goes, that fires back into there, completely smashes that you know, kind of partition wall. Blasts him seven ways from Sunday. Guessing this guy moves out of the way? Or is completely vaporized? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to go and have a revisit, I think. Everyone else seems to be in working order at this point in the story, which is very good. I mean, I know you're all dead now, so it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, so you're going to fire that one off. Which will injure the Kraken. But you don't, you're not, res you're not responsible for his death. Unless it's maybe the thing spasms and then, I don't know. I, I think fuse is already lit. That's going to go boom, back into there. Break the passage more, blast his head off. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Now let's go and have a look at everything else. Uh, I hate this job. <laughs> I, why? What is in that front bit of the gun deck? Don't know. Just a, it's not even a named room. It's more stairs though. Stairs going up, stairs going down, but I can't seem to open that. Then here's the cargo lift. Although back in the day, they wouldn't have say that. They wouldn't have had a lift, lift like we did have. It would be like hoists and pulleys and stuff. Oh, it's a more gunner. Why would you? Imagine sharing your bedroom with a gun. So it is more than a 12 gun. So it's at least a 40. <laughs> there was a kid on board. There was a kid on board. in the nicest way possible. I hope they were already dead before that thing got here. The 
because otherwise oh there was more than one maybe so they don't look big enough to be oh no that one might be an adult bunk oh no you're cut don't leave me Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <coughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit! Oh, no. Boy's dead. Are you the one? Wait. Ah, uh, no, you're the one who isn't blasted. You're the other one. Oh, wait. Who are you then? Ah, uh, no, oh no then. No, that doesn't make sense now. No, oh no, that can't, it could be. I'm pretty sure he wasn't Scottish upstairs. I'm gonna have to listen to the voice lines from upstairs again. I don't think he was Scottish upstairs. I might have got the wrong person. Good lord. They're dead. You're the one who just looks really surprised upstairs. Were they Scottish upstairs or am I just being really forgetful? We'll have to go and have another listen. So who is this and how did they die? I don't know, they had some kind of- they bled out. I don't know what it was that caused the bleeding yet. But they are like- that's a lot of blood. They are not making it out of this. So what happens to cause this? Oh, don't you run me round in circles, you silly white fog. So he, yeah, so he's been stabbed. But who stabbed who? God, he's had his face beaten in. Oh no, he's been shot. He's got a pistol. We did hear the gunshot, to be fair. My guess is he stabbed the other guy, he shot him. And he's beating him up. <laughs> to be fair, if you walked down and all you heard was a gunshot and now he's dead. Don't know. I don't feel like I know enough about that to be able to make an informed decision.
Let me have a look. So this guy... This guy was shot. First face of his blurred... Throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Trying to name them while their face blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Face will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay. Well, right now... But they, they are here. They've been shot. Confused. Is he dead? He was clubbed by whoever the, that person is. I know they were knifed by Robert Wishmoral, but I don't know who they are. Okay, so they were bleeding. Something happened at the back of the ship as well. That's Will. No, is it Will? No, I can't blooming remember. I'm getting all my names mixed up. Yeah, William. William. Will. Bill. Billy Bob. Bobby. Oh, okay. Let's find out what happens to this geezer. My brain's starting to hurt. There's so much information. I feel like I need to remember so much stuff. God, they must have been hit hard. I mean, I was right, so... He's been stabbed by whoever... They were. <laughs> Emphasis on were. They are no longer. There was definitely a Scotsman involved. But they were above deck. Who are you? Why are they throwing you overboard? Are you the bearded man? Oh my god, what is go what is going on? It's like a murder mystery, except every single person is getting murdered one after another. Who is this now? Did I die? Who you they were shot. By a gun. By I don't know who that was yet. <sighs> That's the captain. Captain's looking a little bit tired. Captain's looking very tired. Who was it? He was actually... I think it's the guy who got his face beaten in. Throwing Mr. Beardy off the board. Yep. Good God. Now what happened to you? Oh. 
I am just lost for words. Everyone is killing everyone. For apparently no reason. I mean, I know they're stressed. And I know they've been, you know, they've been through it. Oh, come on, guys. Really? I really, really want to have a look at this. But I don't have time today. Um, I'm going to have to call it there. And we're going to have to come back to this next episode. And we'll start up here. I just, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why everyone's so stressed and shooting everyone and clubbing everyone. But it's, just, it's getting out of hand. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It's been quite good fun. I mean, really enjoying this game. Even if my head hurts after playing it for like 40 minutes at a time. If you haven't seen this game already, please go check it out yourselves. I would highly recommend it. It's a real good, big, real good bit of fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to get this another episode out relatively soon for you guys. Because I am enjoying this far too much to put it down. Yay. Thank you everyone for watching. As usual, I have been Sturx. You guys have been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part in this grisly little adventure.